Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your girl host Jennifer and today is P.O.W. Now yeah, I'm wearing the same outfit I wore last week during P.O.W. because I'm recording it on the same day. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the secrets of Cinnamon Stitches Cave. Alright, so anyway, I got a Premier Yarns order that I am unboxing. This is not a new yarn. This is not a yarn that you have never seen before on this channel. Matter of fact, here's a hint to what we're showing. Now, I, I realize it had been a while. It had been a hot minute since I have ordered anything from Premier Yarns. A, because it's the middle of summer. And B, because, I don't know, I just have, I've been, I've been ordering from other companies, I've been doing other things, I've been working on other projects, I've been trying to work on stash stuff, and I really cannot grasp this tape. I love the Premier Yarns tape. I re this package is real tight though. It's real tight. <laughs> let me find, I don't even, okay, hang on, let me think. Where did I put my scissors? I gotta be careful though, cause when they pack the yarn this tight, if you're not careful, you could cut the yarn. And I'm not trying to cut my yarn. I'm just gonna cut a corner and try to get in there. The good thing about their bags though, yeah, see that yarn was right there. That's why I don't just stick scissors in there. Um, I just cut the corner and I'm ripping it open. A little hint of what we got going on. Um, this yarn you have seen on the channel before. I have worked with it plenty, well, Oh, that's so pretty. I ordered some new colors. Well, at least new to me. They're not new to Premiere. They, some of these are kind of new to Premiere. And some of them... Oh, that's so pretty. I didn't realize I ordered two of those. Oh, I ordered two of each of the colorways. Okay, that's cool because I can give you a prime example of what the different colors look like. Alright, so... This is the puzzle yarn, okay? And like I said, I have shown puzzle on this channel. Puzzle has been around as long as I can remember, as long as I have been making, and it's so hot outside today, it's in the hundreds, that the yarn is actually feeling a little bit steamy. <laughs> Cause my male lady don't have air conditioner in her truck. She looks sweaty and miserable all summer long. And my yarn is like feeling sweaty, which is crazy. So I need to air it off and get it nice and cooled down in the house. Let it air out from these bags. So the puzzle yarn has been around as long as I've been crocheting. I've only been crocheting. I, I learned to crochet when I was a kid. I have not actually started crocheting and making things till about five or six years ago. I don't remember exactly what year it was. It was a while before I started the channel and I've had the channel for a while, but it was after my mom died, but it was before my dad died. So my dad died five years ago. So it had to have been six or seven years ago then, not five. Cause I did make him hats before he died. So maybe it was like seven years ago I learned to crochet. It doesn't matter. Puzzle's been on the market a long time. It's always been around, it's 100% acrylic. It's a bulky number five. This is, um, always been available at Walmart but Walmart has like one or two colors and they certainly don't have any of the cool new colors um, but I wanted to feature this yarn today and I also got some of the puzzle cotton which is a percentage cotton it's like 57% acrylic 43% cotton but it's really pretty and I like the yarn it makes up beautiful projects this is my knit blanket I've showed this recently it's way too hot for this to be on me, but <laughs> this is one, two, three, four, five, six different colors of the, actually I think it's seven because this is a different color. Seven different colors of the Premier Puzzle in the regular. And see how it's got all these beautiful colors. It's a unique yarn. This is what it looks like. That is way more evident on screen. In person, I can't barely see it, but on screen it's like, oh, there's a big zigzag there where you weaved in your end. <laughs> so 
this blanket was a whole thing, okay? I didn't know what I was doing when I started this blanket. This blanket took me a couple years to make because I screwed up so royally making it. It is actually double the width that you're seeing here. I had to fold it in half and seam it together, so this is double thick. And this width is actually one entire ball of yarn, but double this. So there's a lot of yarn in each one of these balls. If you can make 12 feet of... Actually, it's like 12 feet by 12 inches of yarn. <laughs> you can make a lot with this yarn. So that's the knit blanket. I also have a little baby blanket that I made that I crocheted from what was left over from that blanket. So this is what the colors look like in these skeins. It's very like just colorful and pretty. And this is the drunken granny stitch in case you were curious. It works out beautifully. It makes nice soft squishy projects. You can make blankets with it. It makes really good blankets. It makes really good hats, scarves, um, mittens, sweaters. It makes excellent sweaters. I have not personally made a sweater out of this yarn, but I've seen sweaters made out of this yarn and it makes really nice sweaters because it's a nice thick squishy yarn. So it works up faster too because it's bulky. So this is not a springtime, summertime yarn, but if you got projects you want to make for this winter for Christmas presents, or you want to make yourself a nice sweater, any sweater like the, no, sir, no. A mother's job is never done. <laughs> he followed Bentley in. He is, he loves Bentley so much that Bentley has to sometimes run away from him because little man just wants to love on him all the time. And which is strange because little man is not an animal person generally. But the ever since we got Bentley, he just loves the dogs, which is really strange. But yeah, <laughs> he had to tell me something that just absolutely could not wait. That absolutely could have waited. So anyway, I like the puzzle yarn. It's a good soft squishy yarn. It works up fast because it's a bulky five. Um, and it, it looks nice. It looks nice worked up. It's got those beautiful colors. If you are a solid yarn type of person, you're not going to like Premier yarn or not Premier yarn. You're not going to like the puzzle yarn because like I showed you, like the colors are constantly shifting personally that lights my brain on fire that like i love that kind of yarn over anything and what i really like about this yarn is it's technically two different i guess they're self-striping yarns but they're twisted together so they will each ball is kind of unique so and what i mean by that is Let's say we have a self-striping yarn here and a self-striping yarn here. This one starts with yellow and fades to pink. This one starts with pink and fades to yellow. So when you twist it together, you get yellow and pink here, but a different shade of yellow and pink here, and then on and on, right? But depending on how those colors line up when the twisting starts, the colors will shift and it will look, this is the same colorway, it will look different. Even though these are the same colorway, the colors that are lined up with the other colors is slightly shifted. So, and that, isn't that just so cool? That's why I like puzzle. I like puzzle because the colors are just neat. These are both the cut the colorway candy or caramello. And these are 100% acrylic, 328 yards. It's a 200 gram ball. And there's a pattern on the label that gives you an idea what it looks like in a chevron, a granny chevron. Sorry, I got twisted. A granny chevron. Or you can make a drunken granny and it will kind of look like that. But I really like these colors. I really like these colors. And these are new colorways that I've never had before. I think they were released a couple of months ago. I'm thinking in the springtime. So I wanted to try out two of the new colorways because new to me. You know and it's been a while and then i got two in this color this one is fresh blooms and again these are both the same colorway you see how they're different <laughs> i love it it's just so pretty it's so pretty 
This one is very pastel-y. Oh, there we go. But look how pretty those colors are. Are those not gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. And same thing. It's all the same specs as those. But I got these two colorways because I'm like, I wanted to try the new colorways out. I was very excited when they came out because I like puzzle yarn. But I just, I haven't, I haven't placed an order in a while. And then next we're moving on. They also have the puzzle cotton. Which I think is the same the same idea as the puzzle acrylic and this is acrylic it's an acrylic cotton blend so it's 57 acrylic 43 percent cotton this is a 200 gram ball so these are both 200 gram balls it's just wrapped differently and this is 349 yards where this one is 328 yards and this one is listed as a number four whereas this one is listed as a number five so i have ordered this yarn in the past I have not worked it up yet. The the honeycomb, the honey, the beehive shaped balls kind of intimidate me a little bit. You can still center pull from these, but I tend to grab the skeins first. And also, I've been waiting for just the right project for these. So I ordered it and I'm thinking, I'm still thinking like blanket. I'm still thinking this would make a beautiful blanket. Um, the cotton would make it a little bit more breathable, but the acrylic is still going to make it really warm. And this is what it looks like on the label for this colorway worked up. It's really hard to see, but that's like a really pastel purple into pinks, two different shades of pinks and then white and then blue and then purple. And what color is this? This is the color taffy. It's very, very muted colors, but beautiful pastel. And then this is sherbet which I think this is the one that I have already. It's peaches and blues and it's a little bit green. It was really pretty. And this feels very similar. I can't tell the difference between the two of them. Like they feel the same. So I don't know what difference the cotton actually makes in this because I haven't worked this yarn up, but I like the difference in the colorways of these. And so that's why I bought it. I wanted to try it out. And I don't know where my other skeins are because I have so much yarn in this room, I don't know where my other ones of this are. I think, I'm thinking it's probably under the desk in a ball. But as for price, let me let me open up my, my phone. Uh, puzzle, puzzle. So the puzzle acrylic is $7.99 for this big giant ball. And the puzzle cotton is $8.99 for this size bowl. And there are a lot of patterns. There are a lot of patterns on Premier's website for this yarn. So you can make a vest or there's a patchwork blanket. They have a poncho that looks like it's knit. They have a lot of blankets because I think it honestly it makes the best blanket. But then they have hats and scarves. So if you go to the website and you just type in puzzle, it will give you the yarns and then will give you all of the patterns that Premier has designed to go with those yarns. Some of their older patterns are not size inclusive. They just really started the size inclusive patterns the past couple years. Um, I'm going to give myself credit for that because I really pushed and pushed to get size inclusive patterns and then they started making size inclusive patterns. So I'm going to give myself credit for that. Although I don't know if that had anything to do with me. I doubt it, but... <laughs> I did encourage size inclusive patterns. So let's see this lace rib vest. Let me see if this one, it's a knit pattern. It looked crochet, but it's knit. Yep, I'm gonna say that is not size inclusive. Nope, small, medium, and large. So, From the looks of it, none of their puzzle patterns are size inclusive. Although, the poncho would be very easy to adjust. You would just, you would make it until it was big enough to go over your body. But yeah, it doesn't look like they have any size inclusive patterns for the, uh, the puzzle yarn. But, I mean, that's alright. There's lots of sweater patterns for a five weight or a four weight even. 
that you can uh, you can make in your own size. MJ's Off the Hook has excellent size inclusive patterns. She has a granny a granny square cardigan. She actually has several cardigans that are size inclusive that go up to 5x. That if you wanted to make yourself a really colorful cardigan for the winter time, um, can you imagine this as a cardigan? Let's just pretend, okay? <laughs> Just pretend that's my cardigan. Would this not be the cutest cardigan that would just make you feel fabulous and glamorous? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> also, the um, the the granny square the the granny square sweater that I made the tutorial for premiere week that would be excellent with puzzle yarn. You could very easily alter that. And this is a four weight, so you can mix it in with, like, the. you could very easily just say, hey, I'm going to use the puzzle, and you have a really brightly colored um, granny square sweater. I do highly recommend this yarn. Um, I will link it below in case you're interested in purchasing any of this. This one is probably my favorite color, the, the candy one, just because these are some of my favorite colors. I love pinks and yellows, and I love pinks and yellows together. I'm not a... I'm not anti-orange but if I'm going to use orange I prefer it to be mixed with pink and yellow because it reminds me of the sunset. And there's just a little bit of purple in there. I just think this colorway is fantastic. This is cinnamon stitches all day long. All day long. Although this one is pretty too but I'm thinking this would probably be something for oh, my nieces or even my daughter would like this. So and I just love these. I think these are beautiful. Beautiful. So that is today's premiere yarn of the week check out puzzle like i said puzzle is available at walmart now if you go to walmart and you're like okay i want to feel because i do recommend a lot of people are like i'm not buying yarn online because i can't feel it okay but puzzle is available at walmart so if you want to go and you want to feel the yarn at walmart or try it out you can absolutely buy skein at walmart walmart does not have all of these bright beautiful colors as a matter of fact usually when i go to walmart they have the dull colors the more neutral colors because that's what walmart sells most of they buy like the more neutral faded colors like the the stuff that is not in my aesthetic at all like <laughs> browns blacks tans burgundies none of those are my jam at all i like bright loud colors but that is a way that you could feel this and see if you like it is to go like when you're in walmart if your walmart has a yarn section go back there and see if you can find a ball of puzzle and feel it and see if it would be something you would be interested in and then go online and order as many colors as you want because that's what i recommend doing um but yeah and always always sign up for emails from premier yarns they they send out weekly emails and they're always telling you when they have sales they always have bag sales so they have like a bag of three or a bag of five for like a good discount and rate. They always are clearancing out something. Like right now they have acrylic and stuff yarns. Although by the time you see this, it's probably not going to be there anymore. But like right now they have, um, like it's not mystery bags, but it's the mill end bags. And they have a ton of it on sale right now. Let me see if I can find it. So they have chenille, acrylic, acrylic DK, and acrylic bulky. So it's like the, you don't get to pick the, actually, I think with these you do get to pick the color. Yeah. So it's mill ends technically, but you actually get to pick the color. Okay, which I think is cool because they've never done that before. So you get to pick the colors of the mill end you want. Of course, today's date is July 28th, so if that is no longer available by the time you see this video, see the worst, it only has purple and green. But I mean, if you love purple and green. And the bulky only has sage, but... And then they have some chenille yarn watercolors. Which I'm not real sure about that, but... It's $8 for 400 grams, which is not bad at all. It says you can pair it with the solid colors in the Premier Extra Large line. So it's equivalent to the Premier XL or the Parfait XL, which is kind of cool that they tell you that. That's kind of cool. They also have dyeable yarns, a bag of three of the DK Multi Anti Pilling Acrylic. I love that yarn. That's really good for baby items. So a bag of three for $10. They have. 
Bamboo Pop is still on sale for a good deal. They got some of their Universal yarns on sale. So definitely check out the, the sales page while you're at it, while you're over there looking at the, the puzzle. I would even mix those together in a project because I like the whole light dark thing. Which, as you could tell by that knit blanket I made. <laughs> see, I could see mixing those together. I so could. And I know some of you are like, ew, don't do that. But I'm like, yes, please. The more color, the better. Puzzle Yarn gets like a, I'm going to say an 8 out of 10 stars for me. The only way it's getting 8 out of 10 and not 10 out of 10 is because it's not anti-pilling acrylic. And to me, if it's an anti-pilling acrylic, it gets more stars. Um... This yarn doesn't necessarily pill up really easily, but I've made hats and stuff out of this and like little man has Velcro on his hat, on his coat. And so the hat will get stuck on the Velcro and it will like fuzz up a lot, which is his fault or the Velcro's fault. It's not the yarn's fault, but just having that in my memory that it can get fuzzy. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10 because no yarn is perfect. Ooh, well, that's not true. There are perfect yarns. We know there are yarns that we are like, hey, that is a 10 out of 10. That yarn is fantastic. <laughs> Anti-pilling acrylic is pretty close to 10 out of 10 for me. I just love it for so many reasons. But this is still a really good acrylic. And it, even though acrylic cotton blend is just really nice. Even though it says it's puzzle cotton, it is an acrylic yarn with cotton. It's more acrylic than it is cotton. But it's a really beautiful, luscious yarn to work with. And you know with that i never guys i never recommend yarn to you guys that i don't like if i don't like a yarn i will say hey that ain't the best yarn that's not my favorite or i just won't show it because i don't like negativity a whole lot i'll be like hey this one try this one instead this one's a little bit better so with that i'm gonna let you guys go and i will see you in the next one bye